What's up? This is Ray. Welcome back. Hey, we got a pretty interesting high tech episode today. We're going to be looking at a video transmitter. This is the Hollyland Mars 400S Pro video transmitter. The way this came about a few months ago, I reviewed their wireless lapel. It was so small, so unique and self charging. Um, the video came out really cool. So they must have liked the video enough that they asked would I like to review their 400S video transmitter? This is something I don't have any experience with. So I told them, um, please give me some time to check it out, figure it out and um, make a video. But turns out it is very plug and play. There's not a whole lot to it. And you're looking at it now. Uh, it's transmitting from an action camera to this, into my laptop to this TV <laughs> behind me. So yeah, the point of this is if you're a filmmaker, if you're a director of photography, it's important because there's times when you need to see what the camera is seeing remotely. You may want to check critical focus and exposure and all kinds of things like that. So that's where something like this would come in. So yeah, if you're curious, stick around. We're going to be checking out the Hollyland Mars 400S Pro video transmitter and how to get the most out of it right now. Okay, so what comes in the kit? The most important things is the transmitter you're looking at right here. I don't know if you can see, but this transmitter has a red accent on it. That's important because when you open the case, the transmitter and the receiver look identical. So the red transmitter and the blue receiver. So that way you can tell which is which. It's easy to swap them around and then have to do it <laughs> to switch, switch them back. Um, what else comes in the case is, of course, it comes with one HDMI cable. You're really going to need two, at least another one to connect your camera to it. Um, and then it comes with a AC adapter. But I have to point out that Hollyland accidentally sent me the, the European plug adapter. And I thought it was a problem. I thought I wouldn't be able to do this review until I realized there's a bunch of different ways to power this. Um, using the, an AC adapter, you can use any AC adapter between 6 and 16 volts. So uh, I unplugged one that I had on a keyboard, plugged it in and it worked perfectly fine. Um, it can also be run using a USB-C type plug that you charge your phone with. Um, that is really versatile. Um, and finally, it can use the industry standard Sony type battery. So that's three different ways. I didn't need to worry about that AC adapter. Next thing it comes with is five different antennas. Um, Transmitter and receiver both use two antennas, as you can see. So the fifth one is, of course, a spare. Another thing I thought, I thought this was going to be so complicated. I was going to have to read a bunch. I didn't have to read the manual at all, because once you plug everything in, um, you don't even have to synchronize the channels. Once you change the channel here, it automatically adjusts and receives the signal from the receiver uh, in a few seconds. So you don't have to think about that. So that's basically what comes in the kit. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm transmitting right now through this action camera. Um, I'm not using the Lumix that I'm using because when you press record on the Lumix, it stops sending out a signal. Um, it won't transmit a signal while it's recording because they limit that to the, the GH4, 5 and, and higher models. But the action cam is working fine. So let's look at how to use this now in a, in a practical way. Okay, so what's a, a good practical use for something like this? Does everyone need it? Uh, well, for my case, I'm looking at my camera display right now, and I can't tell if I'm perfectly in focus. Sometimes the autofocus will lock on to the background instead of me, and I don't realize it until I'm going to edit the video. And when I realize that, I have to stop, come back, set up everything, and reshoot. Sometimes I even have to change clothes if I'm wearing different clothes. That's a problem. So having a, a system like this, the director of photography or the filmmaker can make check the critical focus before they press record. They can check the exposure and all of those type of things. And it saves so much time because big Hollywood movies, sometimes when they have to do reshoots, they have to fly back to another country and bring all the actors. And you can imagine how much that must cost. So that is kind of the main advantage of having something like this is being able to see the monitor while the while you're shooting your video remotely because everyone can't be crowded around the camera at the same time as you can imagine. So uh, that's that's one of the main advantages of having something like this. Another advantage of something like this is let's say you're shooting a wedding and you're you have the camera and you're aiming at the the bride and groom cutting the cake or feeding each other the cake. Everyone can't see that because you're there. You you may be blocking their view. So having this uh, connected on top of your camera, it could be transmitting to a big monitor. 
uh, for the whole crowd to see what's going on and not have to crowd around. Um, and that's so much, that's so nice. It means so much to the bride and groom for that to be able to, to be done. So as you can see, there's a lot of different ways you can apply this and put it to use. So um, ways I didn't even think of yet. So uh, that's another feature that you can use this for. Okay, so what kind of inputs does this use? Of course it uses HDMI because it's good for high definition or 4K, but it also uses SDI inputs. That's the kind of input that a, a RED camera or a cinema camera would use. So it's, it's important to know um, that it's made for those type of high definition formats. Another technical tidbit is the transmitter and the receiver use two small fans to keep them cool and to circulate air through them. Um, so when this is on top of your camera, it's important to keep in mind the fans are super quiet, but if you have a shotgun mic right next to it, I'm curious, will it pick up the fan? I don't know. So that's something you're going to really want to keep in mind is maybe if it is picking that up from your microphone, you may want to attach this to a tripod or something off the camera to next to it. And that, that should solve the problem. But uh, it's something I just had to point out. And that's that's one of some of the Canon cameras, the modern Canon cameras will overheat because they don't have this type of cooling system built in like the Canon R5. Uh, so yeah, Hollyland is really thinking ahead. You can't afford to have something like this overheat and shut off on set. You can imagine uh, time is money. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the features that are in the menu. For one of the most important things I think this has is a Wi-Fi transmitter. You can transmit from the transmitter to your phone and monitor what's happening from there. That is, that's very useful. Um, I haven't downloaded that app yet. Um, so I'm, I can't really show it to you, but that is very important that you can do that. Um, you can also adjust the fan speed. That's important because if you're shooting in a hot, humid environment outdoors in the sun, if it detects overheating, you can adjust that. Um, a lot of cameras don't have that. Um, so you have system settings and a, and a scene mode and a, a setting in here to change your Wi-Fi password. So those are the basics of the settings in the Mars menu. I don't know if I mentioned, but there's eight different channels, uh, video channels on here. And as you choose the channel, you press the enter button in the middle and it will take a few seconds as you can see here. <laughs> yes. So that's pretty much it. So if you do get a signal interference or something like that, um, that's pretty much the way you do it is to choose a different channel. But uh, that's really the only controls um, that I'm running across on here. There's not a bunch of menus on here. And uh, that's, that's really what you want. The simpler, the better. All right, so let's talk about the build quality. When you look at it, you may think it's plastic, but it's not. It's all metal. The entire case is metal and it feels kind of warm. Uh, what that means is not only is the fan dissipating the heat, but the metal case is also dissipating the heat also. This insignia on front really is just for style. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much the build quality of it. All right, so that is pretty much my review of the Hollyland 400S Pro system. Um, as you can see, it is, it is made specifically for a certain type of filmmaker. So we got to ask ourselves, who is this for? Does a regular YouTuber like me need something like this? I have to say no. Um, it's, if you have to ask yourself, do you need this? Then you probably don't need it. <laughs> but if you're a professional filmmaker, if you're doing um, hardcore video like this, you, you, there's some people who probably cannot do without this. It's probably mandatory before they move on to their next shoot to be able to check what they got on a something like this. So it's very, um, it's a kind of niche product. But yeah, so I want to thank Hollyland for trusting me to shoot this review, give me a chance to check it out. Um, and I, let, oh, let's talk about the price. I see this, the price for this fluctuating between $600 and $650 at the time of this shooting. So I'm going to put um, the best links to the best price for this below. Um, I'll see if maybe Hollyland has any discounts or anything like that. And uh, also, because this is not something I use regularly, um, maybe there's some things, important things I left out. So if you have any questions that I didn't address in here, uh, definitely leave them in the comments below and I'll see if I can answer them the best I can. But yeah, thank you for watching and keep in mind, no matter what you do to transmit your video, I never thought I'd ever say that. <laughs> Until next time, as always, keep it real.